Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be organizing my spices. I will show you the disaster that they are here in a second, but I ordered a couple of things off of Amazon to get them all organized and I have a drawer set aside to put them in. Currently they're just in a cabinet and it's a mess. I've wanted to do this for a long time and now I'm finally doing it. So I will show you real quick what my cabinet looks like and what I want it to look like in the end. Okay, so this is what my spices look like right now, and as you can tell, it is a disaster. It's I have the ones I use in the front most often, but it's hard to find the ones that I need, and it just looks like a mess, and I can't handle it anymore. So I got some things off of Amazon. This is the drawer that it's going to go into, and this is kind of how I have it laid out. Um, I got these cute little jars off of Amazon. I wanted the black lids because that kind of goes with the theme of this house. Um, and I ordered this little insert that's underneath them. I will get a better look at it in a second when I get all these jars out. So they'll just be nice and organized and you can find things really quickly. They did come with these little caps, so the little shaker caps, which I also did want. Um, the kit came with this little thing, it's a little rubber thing, so you can pour the spices into the jar and not make a mess, which I will definitely need. Um, the jars that I did get, they came with these black stickers that you, they're like, like a chalkboard marker type of thing so you can write on them. However, I don't have the greatest handwriting, so I ordered, again, these are all on Amazon, I ordered these cute little labels so you'll know exactly what they are. They're all uniform, they look alike. I just, I like having the cleanness of it and I don't wanna have to worry about my handwriting. So yeah, I will get these all out of the drawer and let's start organizing my spices. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Be sure to check me out on Instagram as well as hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. It really helps me to grow the channel and I appreciate you all being here. This is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. Every time that I would open my cabinet where my spices were, it would drive me crazy, and I'm so glad I finally did it. It was so satisfying putting all of the spices into these cute little jars, and I couldn't be happier with the way it all turned out. The only thing that bothered me a little bit while doing this was trying to get the labels on straight and in the same spot, but that's just a little bit of my OCD.
It was a thirsty night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you It struck me like lightning until I did this, I didn't realize how many open bottles of the same spices that I had. It makes sense since it was so hard to find spices sometimes, so I would think we were out of it, but really they were just hiding. Everything has changed. Every day, 24-7, you call my name, and I will come running, yeah, every day, 24-7, yeah. I did have to rinse the little funnel out quite a bit because some of the spices would stick to it. I actually tried a different funnel I had which was made of plastic to see if the spices wouldn't stick to it as much and they didn't but it caused another issue a little bit later in the video. Everything has changed every day. So this was the issue that I was talking about with this funnel. The spot was pretty narrow, so when I started doing the chunkier spices, they would just get stuck in the funnel, and it was a pain to get them out and into the jar. It's not 
As you can see, I even tried a slightly bigger version of the plastic funnel to see if the oregano would go in a little bit easier, but the funnel itself wasn't all that much bigger, so it was still a struggle. In the end, I went back to the rubber funnel and it made it so much easier.
I don't know if you have used Creole seasoning before, but it's one of my absolute favorite seasonings. However, after pouring it into the jar, I sneezed for about 15 minutes. The pepper and paprika didn't get me, but man, this Creole did. I started doing this during my son's nap, but it took longer than I thought it would, and of course he decided to take a really short nap this day, so he came out and decided he needed to help, and you will slowly see empty spice jars disappearing. And that's it for today's video. I'm so happy with how this turned out. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you on the next one.